The story I'm about to tell you is darn near unbelievable. I'm at dinner with Russ Lyman, Retro Rick, and Ricky. And we're sitting there and I get a message from a buddy of mine saying, I'm at a car audio shop and they have some cabinets I think you might find interesting. And then what I see is an image of some cabinets with the glass intact of original Nintendo cabinets. Now these are extremely hard to find and extremely hard to come across these days. I'm talking super hard to find. And he's like, hey, should I make him an offer? And I'm like, yeah, just do it. What should we do? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, why don't we just offer him like a hundred bucks and just see what happens. They then accept the hundred dollars. But what's crazy is when they pull these things out to get them to us, the day we go to get them and get them out of there, we see what I expected, but it's hard to believe when you see it. Yes, they are World of Nintendo and Nintendo headquarters cabinets with the sliders in tapped. Darn near unbelievable. I want to stop talking, but the story was important to hear how it happened. And now, let's go get them. Chloe. Hi, bub. Good dog. All right, here with homie Joe at his studio that I've never been into. This is, I love your vibe, dude. You have such a cool vibe. Oh, I love this stuff, man. You're just like me, you collect stuff that people are like, why would you collect this shot up, shot up old can? You know, but I do. You make lights out of them? Yes. Dude, that is awesome. Come on, pup. Let's go see the other room, come on. Dude, this is sick, so how, oh, no way. How long have you had this? Not long. You son of a gun. <laughs> That's sick. Bro, you have the coolest vibe, dude. Oh my gosh. Hot Wheels over there, too? Where's Ricky when you need him? Pick up. That's actually cool. That's yeah, sick. From oh, from right there down the yeah, street. Yeah. Wow, did you have to reach out to anybody or you just got lucky? Just got lucky. Got it, yeah, yeah. Same yeah. way I got lucky with some of my signs. This is wow, look at this, dude. It's a mess right now. What in the world? How do you, you have such a cool spot, dude? Look at your wall up here too. Yo, I just got a Chester Cheetah video game last night. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually kind of went up in price too a little bit. Yeah, I was on the Super Nintendo. Right, pup? Good pop. So this way? So, yeah. Dude, freaking hey, dude, what you, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. So do you watch the American Pickers? Oh yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, you're living out my, my yeah. fantasy of, of this, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, my like, gosh. My little wood shop area. Wow, yeah. dude. Game. I love it, man. Construction. Look at all those big I letter stop. signs, signage. Yeah. Up there. Office Depot. And is that what it spells? Yeah, I caught the guy when he was picking him down and uh, he wasn't able to give him away. He's like, I got them away. I'm like, well, I have a 40 yard dumpster in my word. Ah, uh, I almost got a okay. Kmart, the Kmart one in Harbor. I was try I was asking for so many times and the guy's yeah. like, I don't know if I can, maybe, maybe not, but he ended up not doing it. So yeah. don't think I don't see that up there, bro. That's yeah. that Toys R Us? Yeah. Oh, I gotta see. Look at that, people. I'm gonna zoom in nice and tight. That's factory lit too. That's factory lit, yeah. wow. They are laying on their sides. Yeah, we should be able to manage them out of here. Yeah, just because of glass. I couldn't get the glass out for some reason. The glass off? Yeah, usually, you know, you just pull up and then it pops out of the bottom. Nintendo didn't mess around, bro. <laughs> Nintendo locked them in there. So here is the first one pulled out. It says Nintendo on the bottom. And one of the, the most important things to know is that this works. The original glass sliding doors, which is great. You can get a, a custom made marquee up here that says, you know, World of Nintendo, like the original has the side paneling, as you would see, which always reminds me of an NES car. Obviously, this can be cleaned up and the banger back decal, the world of Nintendo right there. Now, Nintendo is more than a game. It's a place you can go. And when you get there, you're going to see things you've never seen before. Do things you didn't know were possible. Enter the world of Nintendo for the largest selection of Nintendo Entertainment System and Game Boy games and loads of other exciting Nintendo products for the whole family. All at a Rose's store near you. And here is the other one that we have not pulled out yet. We're going to clean it up a little bit, but it is a Nintendo 
headquarters cabinet, full size. So these things measured are about six feet tall, just under six feet and exactly four feet wide. So this one is actually in really good condition as well. The inside is the original black color. It's not been spray painted over or anything like that. It has the original bottom on here, the Nintendo as well. And uh, all that's missing, I mean, got it even, it even has the, um, the light box right here ready to go and just the missing marquees again but on the easy you can kind of you can order replicas off of ebay or etsy or anything like that to get that made so right now joe and i are going to kind of clean them up and uh get them kind of you know looking a little bit better before we can kind of uh kind of make a move on them and uh put them where we want them to be i think it's worth pointing out that we just plugged it in and as you can see let there be light so a, a reproduction marquee on this thing is going to make it sparkle like Beyonce in a 2000 video. All right, so kind of did some touch up, some clean up light TLC, nothing too crazy, but kind of got them, you know, looking at all vacuumed out and cleaned out, as you guys can see, looking pretty good. So very excited to see uh, where these go. One in the shed, one maybe to maybe to Retro Games Plus might be taking one of these. We're not really exactly sure of their fate just yet, but an unbelievable find, unbelievable score. I mean, this kind of stuff does not happen and, and Joe straight up rescued these things from falling to crap because that's what was happening with these. These were literally falling to crap. The shop they were at did not care about them, did not have two craps. Even when they saw Nintendo on the back, they're like, cool, whatever, we don't care. So these have been rescued and saved and hopefully one is in my room and maybe another one to Retro Games Plus or something. Again, not exactly sure what the fate is, but just freaking unreal. Well, guys, the big lesson here these things have officially been rescued. I don't know where these things are going to end up either at my house or Retro Games Plus or possibly even Ricky's, I don't know. But in reality, in the long run, these things were not being loved. These things were not being taken care of. These were just getting worked to death and beat to death. So now they are officially, they're getting reborn. They're starting their life over as Nintendo cabinets going maybe into my place just with tons of Nintendo stuff or again, Retro Games Plus with tons of Nintendo stuff being used for what they were made for. Love this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff never happens in the community, saving and rescuing things from the dustbins of obscurity. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Why can't this help?